I am Luciana Hartwin. Welcome to The Lilith Verse. As always, if you find value in this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. As the wheel of the year turns and the earth awakens from its slumber, we find ourselves at Hostara, the spring equinox, a time of balance and renewal. During this magical season, we honor the return of light and the promise of new beginnings. But amidst the celebration of nature's rebirth, there is a deeper, often overlooked connection to the enigmatic goddess Lilith. In this video, we will explore the sacred bond between Ostara and Lilith, and the significance of her worship at this special time. The Mythos of Lilith Lilith often portrayed as a dark and mysterious figure, holds a prominent place in various mythologies and belief systems. In ancient Mesopotamian mythology, she was depicted as a winged demoness associated with storms and chaos. Later, in Jewish folklore, Lilith was said to be the first wife of Adam, created from the same earth as him, rather than from his rib like Eve. She refused to submit to Adam's authority and fled the Garden of Eden, becoming a symbol of feminine independence and empowerment. Lilith and the Spring Equinox The connection between Lilith and Ostara may seem unexpected at first glance, but upon closer examination, their association becomes clear. Ostara, celebrated at the Spring Equinox, is a time when the earth transitions from the darkness of winter into the light of spring. It marks the delicate balance between light and dark, day and night, as the hours of sunlight and darkness become equal. Similarly, Lilith embodies the balance in her essence. She is often depicted as a figure of darkness and mystery, yet within her darkness lies a profound wisdom and power. Lilith represents the untamed, wild aspects of the feminine spirit, refusing to be constrained by societal norms or patriarchal expectations. In her rejection of subservience to Adam, in her subsequent exile from the Garden of Eden, Lilith embodies the struggle for autonomy and liberation from oppressive structures. As the earth stirs with new life and vitality, during the spring equinox, so does Lilith's energy permeate the land. Her presence can be felt in the budding of flowers, the emergence of new growth, and the awakening of the natural world from its winter slumber. Just as the earth undergoes a process of renewal and rebirth, so too do we have the opportunity to undergo our own transformation, shedding the old and embracing the new. At Astara, as we honor the balance between light and dark, day and night, we are reminded of Lilith's teachings. She urges us to embrace our true selves, including the parts of us that may be considered dark or unconventional. By embracing our shadows, we reclaim our power and authenticity, refusing to be bound by societal expectations or limitations. In essence, Lilith's presence at Ostara serves as a potent reminder of the inherent balance within ourselves and the natural world. As we celebrate the return of spring and the promise of new beginnings, let us draw inspiration from Lilith's fierce spirit and embrace our own power to create change and transformation in our lives. Symbolism of Ostara Ostara, named after the Germanic goddess of spring, is a time of profound significance in the wheel of the year. It heralds the end of the cold, dark days of winter and ushers in a period of rebirth, growth, and renewal. As the earth awakens from its spring slumber, it bursts forth with new life in a riot of color and fragrance, signaling the arrival of spring in all its splendor. Central to the symbolism of Astara are the themes of fertility, growth, and renewal. It is a time when the land becomes fertile once again, ready to support new life and growth. 
The energy of Astara is palpable in the air, as the earth pulses with vitality and potentiality, promising a bountiful harvest in the months to come. The symbols of Astara are rich with meaning, each carrying its own significance in the celebration of the season. Eggs, for example, have long been associated with fertility and new life, representing the potential for growth and transformation. In many cultures, eggs are dyed and decorated as part of Ostara celebrations, symbolizing the vibrant colors of spring and the beauty of renewal. Similarly, rabbits are often associated with Ostara, symbolizing fertility, abundance, and the playful spirit of the season. As prolific breeders, rabbits embody the idea of growth and expansion as well as interconnectedness of all living beings in the web of life. Flowers, too, play a central role in Astara celebrations, representing the beauty and vitality of the season. From delicate snowdrops to vibrant daffodils, flowers emerge from the earth, heralding the arrival of spring in a burst of color and fragrance. They symbolize the awakening of the natural world, from its winter slumber, and serve as a reminder of the eternal cycle of birth, death, and rebirth that permeates all of existence. Overall, the symbolism of Ostara is a testament to the beauty and resilience of the natural world. It reminds us of the cyclical nature of life and the interconnectedness of all living beings. As we celebrate Ostara, We are invited to reflect on the beauty and abundance that surrounds us and to embrace the promise of new beginnings that spring brings. The Intersection of Ostara and Lilith At Ostara, the veil between the worlds is said to be thin, allowing for easier communication with the divine. It is a time when energies of the natural and spiritual realms converge, creating a potent atmosphere for magic and transformation. During this sacred season, we find ourselves standing at the threshold of the old and the new, poised on the brink of profound change and renewal. In this liminal space, the goddess Lilith emerges as a powerful guide and ally on our journey of self-discovery and empowerment. With her fierce energy and unwavering determination, she stands as a beacon of strength and resilience, urging us to embrace our true selves and reclaim our power. Just as the earth is reborn each spring, so too can we shed the old and embrace the new. Tapping into Lilith's power to break free from societal constraints and embrace our true potential. Like the buds that unfurl in the warming sunlight, we have the opportunity to blossom and grow casting off the shackles of fear and doubt that have held us back. Lilith teaches us to embrace our destinies, embrace our shadows, and embrace our power as creators of our own path. She reminds us that true empowerment comes from within, from owning our truth and standing firmly in our authenticity. As we invoke her presence at Ostara, we call upon her fierce spirit to guide us through the darkness and into the light, illuminating the path to self-discovery and liberation. In Lilith's embrace, we find the courage to challenge the status quo, to defy expectations, and to forge our own path in the world. She empowers us to reclaim our sovereignty and to embrace the fullness of who we are, unapologetically and without reservation. As we celebrate Ostara and honor the goddess Lilith, may we embrace the opportunity for growth and transformation that this sacred season offers. May we tap into Lilith's power to break free from the chains of oppression and step boldly into the light of our own truth. And may we emerge from this time of rebirth, renewed and empowered, ready to embrace the infinite possibilities that lie ahead. Rituals and Practices There are many ways to honor the connection between Ostara and Lilith through ritual and practice. One could create an altar dedicated to Lilith, adorned with symbols of spring and symbols of feminine power. 
offerings of flowers, herbs, and crystals associated with renewal and empowerment can be made to honor her presence. Meditation and visualization can also be powerful tools for connecting with Lilith's energy, allowing us to tap into her wisdom and guidance. The Significance of Lilith's Worship In a world where the Divine Feminine is often marginalized or suppressed, the worship of Lilith takes on added significance. Throughout history, patriarchal structures have sought to diminish the power of women and relegate them to subordinate roles. Lilith, as a symbol of feminine autonomy and independence, challenges these oppressed norms and invites us to reclaim our inherent power. By honoring Lilith at Astara, we not only celebrate the return of spring, but also assert our right to autonomy and self-determination. In embracing Lilith, we reject the notion that women should be passive or submissive, and instead affirm our ability to shape our own destinies. Lilith's teachings encourage us to embrace all aspects of ourselves, including those that society may deem unacceptable or taboo. She embodies the dark and mysterious aspects of the feminine psyche, urging us to explore desires and confront our shadows without shame or judgment. Through Lilith's worship, we are reminded that true empowerment comes from within. She teaches us to trust our instincts, honor our intuition, and stand unapologetically in our truth. By embracing our desires and owning our shadows, we reclaim our power as creators of our own destiny. In essence, Lilith's worship at Astara serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of embracing our authentic selves and reclaiming our sovereignty in a world that often seeks to suppress it. As we honor her presence during this sacred time, may we draw strength from her example and walk boldly in the light of our own truth. As we celebrate Ostara and the arrival of spring, let us not forget the powerful presence of the goddess Lilith. In her dark and mysterious depths, we find the courage to embrace our true selves and forge our own path in the world. May her energy infuse our rituals and practices with vitality and strength, guiding us on our journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Blessed Ostara to all who walk with the path of the goddess. I have been Luciana Hartwin. If you found value in this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me today here in the Liliverse.